We would like to show you now the high point uh, measurement that's under the measure pull down menu. I've already done this, or I've measured this tank and put it into a, a coordinate system, or I've put it into the CAD data alignment using the iterative alignment. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and uh, run back and check that out if you're, if you're uh, in need of seeing how that was aligned to the CAD model using surface points. But I'm right in the middle of my, my measurement session with it, and one of the criteria on the drawing is the overall width of this tank. Uh, it's a rotationally molded solution tank, and the overall width has got some criteria on it. So what we're going to do is we'll say, okay, let's just find out where those points are at the widest point and the dimension on the drawing calls it out right at these, at these seams here at this feature line. So the way I'm going to do that is I will actually look at this tank in a rear view by hitting the 4 key, right like that. Okay, now I'll zoom, or I'll put into a little, a little bit closer view like that. And what I'll do is I'll go to the measure pull down menu, and then I'll go point. And then I'm going to go high point. Okay, and what the high point does is it's going to sample a series of points until it finds the highest point, and then it's going to forget about all the other points um, that were lower. So I'm going to pick high point here, and I don't want to define a plane. What I actually want to do is use the plane that's in the coordinate system. Okay, I will show you that. I'll move this out of the way a little bit and just go view from screen. See, if I scroll down a little bit, see my coordinate system bisects this tank right down the middle. So the YZ plane is what is forming that midsection. So what I'd like to do is keep that, uh, that plane as the detail I'd like to test against the high point. So I will right mouse click and say the YZ plane of the world is what I'd like to test. So I'll say OK. Now, what I've got is uh, the measurement session I'm in right now, you can see in the lower left-hand corner, it says, while triggered, scan mode is selected. And the default usually is single point mode. I'll show this with the X key here. The X key is the hot key for toggling in and out of scan mode. All right, so the usual default is the single point mode is selected. But whenever I use high point or low point, I always use the X key. Okay, so now I'm triggered and I'm going to zoom back down into this area here. And what I'll do is I will measure at the feature line area right in through here to find the high point. So I'll grab the arm. Then I'm going to come in through here. And I'll say, okay, let's just start taking some points. I just lay my probe right on that feature line and when I'm, when I'm depressing the front key, or the green key, and it starts tracking points, you can hear it's collecting a bunch of points. And what it'll do is it'll stop when I let go of the green button. Okay, now I'll compensate this way, away from my part. Never cross your geometry. And what it's done is it's looked at, it says here, 171 points. And it has found the point that is the farthest away from that YZ plane of the coordinate system. All right, that's great. So let's call that the high point on the left. I'll say OK to that. Now I'll escape a second here. I think earlier I mentioned this was a rear view. It's actually a front view, so I'm going to zoom in here. And you'll see right there is the highest point out of that sample of 171 points that is the farthest away from that YZ plane. All right, I like that. And now I'm going to do the same exercise down in this side right here. So I will do a high point there as well. But here's something to, to make a note of, is if I am going to measure point, high point again, I've got to select the feature to test against, this time, what I'm going to do is pick up on the negative YZ of the world, okay? What it's doing is it's sampling against the vector of that plane. So the negative YZ 
is what I'm going to test against. Okay, so I'll say OK to that. Since I am on the other side of that, of that coordinate system, I am on the negative side now. So I will grab the arm. And then I will start sampling from up front here. Pressing the green button, I'm just going to drag along. And right about there. I know I've swiped through the area that is the, the widest because I can visually see it. So I'm just going to save that. I compensate away from the part. I never cross my geometry with compensation. So now I'll call that the high point on the right. And I'll say OK. And there it shows up right there. So it does look like it's a little bit outside of the geometry of the CAD model. I'll hit Escape to get out of that. There, if you wanted to, if you needed a dimension, you could do the dimension length point to point. And you could pick up on the high point on the right and then the high point on the left like that. But that's the way you could take and put your widest points onto this, onto this CAD model by using the high point. One thing to remember, though, too, is be sure to put the arm into the scan mode. So again, if I go to the high point, whatever I pick here as far as the plane that I'm going to compare it to, notice down in the lower left, it says, while triggered, the scan mode is selected. Uh, just because I am in scan mode, or I was previously, it'll stay in that mode until you toggle out with the X key. And again, I always use that scan mode while I'm doing high point and low point just because it samples that surface in so many different points before picking the highest point or the lowest point.